Welcome back to lesson seven of the Interior Design Playbook. We are entering module two, which is all about best practices for your design documentation. I'm Meg, your guide through this course, and today we're focusing on a tool that can make or break your design documentation, your FF&E schedules. Think of FF&E, or furniture, fixtures, and equipment, as the backbone to your design documentation set. Without a well-structured schedule, your project can quickly slip into chaos. But with one, you've got a system that organizes selections, streamlines procurement, and keeps your team moving in sync. I'll be walking through how exactly to create FF&E schedules right within Rayon, which is the web-based platform built for designers that we've been using throughout this entire course. With features like smart tables, tags, and visual images, Rayon helps you manage every single product detail and tie it back to your drawings all in one place. If you're curious what this looks like in action, you can always schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo with the Rayon team, and we can show you how to set up your FF&E schedule from the ground up. And don't forget, you can download the free FF&E schedule template linked right below and customize it as we go. Let's get started. An FF&E schedule is basically your project's master inventory of all of your specified furniture, your lighting, your equipment, and the more structured and clear the schedule is, the less room there is for miscommunication during your execution. Usually it includes essential data like product names, finishes, dimensions, images, quantities, pricing, room locations, all that kind of good stuff. And basically it helps everyone like your clients, your contractors, procurement managers, team members, everyone just stay aligned from design to installation. So it's both like a reference document and also a visual specification tool. Now there are two different types of schedules that you can build in and rayon so there are classic tables which is just like a simple layout built with lines text images and then there's data rich tables so these are smart schedules which we all love smart things with metadata properties that let you count sum, and manage your project information faster and reduce manual mistakes so today in our tutorial i'm going to walk you through how to build both so you can see how to use each type and just kind of see which one works best for you. So first off, we are going to create a dedicated canvas for our ff &E specs and mood boards. Now, if you're working on a smaller project, all of your drawings might just happen on one canvas, but because this is a larger project, and just for the purposes of teaching, we are going to create our own. So in the demo template, we actually already have one created, but if you are working in your own template, you will just wanna click this little plus and then create a new model canvas and call it ff &E Specs and Mood Boards. So I am just here in our canvas that we already have created, and we are basically just going to draw a table. Like this is gonna be the first type that we talk about. And again, this one is not data rich, so you will have to manually update all of the information in here. And if anything changes, you come back and you edit it in here. You just edit the text like you would any other type of like Excel document. So if we just zoom in on one of these tables, you can see when I select all of this information here, this is just text, these are just lines, these are just images. So in order to create a table like this, it's very very simple. We've kind of already even touched on this in some of our other lessons, but you'll just use your tools down here. You'll use your line tool. Um, if you want to create your lines, of course, if you have specific styles, you can always eye drop those or you can just edit them over here. For instance, like the thickness, the color, all that good stuff. Now the same thing goes for text. So all of these are basically just little text box here. You will just do that by grabbing your text and uh, just typing in whatever, so Dawn flooring or something like that, and hit done. And then, of course, you it comes in a little bit small over here, but you can always change your style, or if you have another style that you like, um, let's just change this to one meter, and I spelled that wrong. So as you can see, this is a little bit more work because this is all just manual. So anytime that something gets updated, for instance, like the cost of an item or the status over here, you have to go in here and actually like double click on these and edit them as if they are just regular text. Now, same thing with this schedule down here. This is really similar. This is just another way of laying out a schedule. So this one obviously has images. So like we've seen before, how you can just copy and paste an image into here. If you want to edit the image, you can always go to edit image and either upscale it using AI, or you can remove the background if you'd like, which will also use AI. And then you'll just hit done, and then it will automatically update that in your project. Um, and that can just give you a nice clean look. Um, it's also really good for stacking photos on top of each other to create that mood board. Now, alternatively, if you don't wanna go through the process of manually updating this every time that things change, 
you can build a data-rich FF&E table, which I personally find as my preferred method. So for this one, I actually wanna share another FF&E table with you, um, and it's actually linked in the description below. It's called the Horizontal FF&E Schedule and Project Specification Template. So you can just click on that and follow along in this next tutorial. So here we are in this new template, and rather than relying on plain text and manual edits, I am going to use Rayon's metadata properties to directly connect my architectural drawing with the FF&E list. So this means that I can actually embed details like the brand, material, price, all types of properties directly into furniture blocks and floor plan surfaces, so your finishes, instead of manually counting, adding, summarizing, etc. I just let Rayon's table tool handle it all in just a few clicks. So let's walk through how this is already set up in this model, and then we will add a new item together into both the table and the spec sheet as an example. So let's just zoom in and click on a block and the properties are gonna show up down here. So let me just scooch myself over here. Now, this is where you'll see custom properties. So anytime that you select a block in this model, um, you will see different properties. Like some of, it ha some of them have the brand, some have the price. Um, and these are because we have already added these properties. So I'll show you how to do that. Now you can also see if I select on a zone here with um, like a flooring type, you can see that there's also information on that finish as well. So this doesn't just apply to furniture. This also works for your finishes, your lighting fixtures, all that kind of good stuff. And as with everything else that we've learned so far, like I've said, this does take a little bit of front end work, but once you set it up, you set it up once and then you don't have to do it again. So for instance, with this bed, if I add a property over here, if I go to instance properties and I add a property, let's just go to add property and let's say that we want to add the material. So I click material and then over here I can add in a type of material. And once I do that, that is my one source of truth. So if anything changes about the data in this bed, for instance, if the price changes or if we change the finish, the color, the lead time is delayed, if I update it here in the properties of the block, it is going to update that and reflect across my documentation in my tags, my tables, my schedules, anywhere else where I embed this data. So let's just take a look at this in action. I'm just gonna type in something here, like let's just say berry, that'll just be the color of our bedding. So now let's go over to our table tool and take a look at two tables that we have already set up. So over here, you click on tables and you can see here that we have material specs and equipment furniture already set up here. But you're probably wondering how to make them. So let me show you how we can create a table and add different properties. So let's just click the little plus sign right here. So we'll hit the plus and it's going to basically show everything that is showing up in your canvas here. So these are all of like the blocks, the zones, etc. Now, if you wanna organize this, you just click these three little dots and go to category and you can turn on and off different things that you want to show or don't wanna show. So for instance, if I don't wanna show the walls, I don't wanna show the zones, I just wanna show my instances, then we'll just keep block instance checked. So you can see that like all of my blocks down here are showing up. So over here, I can hit the plus sign and this is going to add different properties to our table. So for instance, let's say that we wanna show material, which you can see that bed that I just typed in Barry is now showing up here because since I just added that property to this bed, that's the only thing in this canvas that has a property like that. So let's add another one. So let's add lead time and then we'll also add status. So. What this is gonna do is anytime that I have another item in here now and I add the property material to it, so let's click on this wardrobe right here and I'm gonna add material. So we'll add material and now you can see that it just populated in my table over here. And so I'm going to type in chestnut and then you can see that it added that over here. Now, of course, if I want these other properties to show up, as well, I would have to add those properties to this block. Now, let's say that the client has changed their mind and now instead of doing berry as the material of this bed, we have decided to go with ivory. So if I type in ivory here, you can see that it's literally live updating as I'm typing, it's live updating this table over here. So anytime that I make a change, in the block that is going to impact any other place that i have that metadata so the table is a live synced representation of my drawing the number of items i place in it the information i embed in it it keeps your project ff &E schedule always up to date you can also export your tables as excel sheets to work with outside of rayon um, we are currently also working on a feature that will let you place the tables directly onto 
your presentation canvases or your model canvases. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let's just see how we can actually embed this metadata into our FF and E sheet in Rayon. So let's zoom out and take a look at these sheets that we have down here. So while we cannot, you know, necessarily drag and drop these tables that we just created into the sheet, um, we can use tags to still use that metadata. So if I zoom in over here, like on equipment and furniture, for instance, let's take a look at this television set. So if we double click this text here, you can see down here it says editing tag. So this is not just text, this is a tag, which means that this is actually linked to the block. So let's go back up here and I'm just gonna click on my TV and you can see down here that we have all of this different information, right? So if I were to change any of this information, that's actually going to update in those tags that I have down there. And I'll show you how to create a tag down there as well. But let me just show you when I update this. So down here, if we go back here, and we look at this television and we decide that, you know, um, we're not gonna use Google TV, we're gonna use Amazon TV, right? So back up in this block, I'm gonna change the information here to say Amazon TV. And then now when I go back down to my schedule, you can see that it has automatically updated that. And that's because this is not just plain text, this is a tag. So let me just delete this and show you how to create a tag. So all you're gonna do is go click on your text and you will just click and then instead of just typing in text, you want to click on add variable. And then we are going to search our model for that block. So let's go take a look at what that block is called. Come back to that in a second. So this block is called TV unit wall mounted front. So down here in my text, which we'll have to change the size here in a second. Um, if we go back to edit and back to our add variable, if I type in TV, Okay, so now I can see that I've got one of my blocks here, so I just click on that, and I'm going to add variable, which one did we say we were doing the brand? Okay, so I'm gonna click this, the Amazon TV, and click check, and let's go ahead and pick a style because that style is a little too big. And so now what that has done is that has created a tag instead of a plain text. So again, if I go back up to this block now, that's basically tied to this block's information. So if we do decide that we wanna go back to Google TV, now anytime that I change that, it's going to update that tag right here. And that goes for all these other properties as well. So this is just kind of like a good workaround for now, while we cannot directly drag those tables onto our canvas. And that's it. So each time that I make an edit or change the item's property now, it's going to update across all drawing sets and help avoid inconsistencies and mistakes. And this is just such an amazing time saver in my opinion. So now that our FF&E schedule is ready, um, let's invite collaborators to collect feedback and export our sheets or share them as a URL link online. So with Rayon, you have two options. You can either export as a PDF, which we have done a couple times now. This is perfect when you need just a traditional documentation set. So as we've done a couple times now, if you have your paper canvas, I'm just gonna create one real quick and we'll create a page. And now if you'll recall, we just have to drop a view from our uh, model canvas onto here. And it goes ahead and drops that in here. Now, if you want to move around in there, you can say override and we can you know, pick a different uh, view if we'd like. And, or if you have a specific scale, you can always do that as well over here. Once you're ready to share that as a PDF, you would just go to your export image where you can select your specific pages or you can export it to PDF with all of your pages, or you can go ahead and just share the live link. So this is my go-to method because Rayon is web-based, so you can instantly generate a URL to share with your clients or collaborators where there's no bulky files or you know endless email attachments or like software downloads for them. And the best part is that any updates that you make are reflected automatically in their presentation, which keeps everything accurate and up to date. In order to do that, you just hit the share button and then you'll just click this little toggle here and then grab that link. And that's how you can bring your FF&E process full circle, organized, collaborative, and streamlined from start to finish. That wraps up lesson seven of the interior design playbook. Now you've seen how an FF&E schedule can keep your projects organized, align your team, and make procurement smoother from start to finish. Now remember, you can download that free FF&E schedule template linked below and start adapting it to your own projects right away. If you'd like to see how Rayon can fit into your own workflow, you can go ahead and book a free demo with the team. We will walk you through setting up your own schedules and answer any questions that you might have. Thanks for joining me in this lesson. I'll see you in the next one where we're gonna learn about how to create great interior design mood boards, so stay tuned for that.